Hi, Tyler from Enter Fidelity here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018. I'm up in some nondescript room somewhere having a conversation with the guys from SonarWorks. Hi. Helmut Bems and Janis Spogus. And Hi. it is terrific to see you guys. Um, SonarWorks is a company that uh, compensates headphones. And you can see they got a bunch of headphone graphs. Why don't you guys uh, tell us a little bit about how this works? So uh, we measure and profile headphones, create a digital profile uh, for the particular headphone, and then that profile goes into an application or either on a Mac or a PC, or we, we are now working on the smartphone uh, app versions as well. Uh, and the sound is uh, then adjusted to compensate for your specific headphones. And Giannis, you had a, a, a cell phone back there. It's probably not on before, but uh, show us the headphone that, you, that yep. we had. He, uh, what kind of headphone is this? This is uh, this specific pair is uh, Marshall monitors. Uh -huh. We have uh, measured quite a bit of headphones, uh, like we have measured in thousands, but we have profiles for 117 models, and the really cool thing we do since we come from recording studio background when we do the measurements and we do the sound adjusting we make sure we adjust back to the studio reference sound since we have spent like years in recording studios and we have measured tons of them we know how they sound so we can actually digitally bring the studio sound uh, back onto the headphones so so the demo that they gave me they had uh, a computer over here uh, with their system into it playing to an outboard D to A converter and onto a pair of Sennheiser 650s that were compensated with their curves and then from their cell phone app uh, onto the Marshall headphones and uh, playing the same song um, started them at the same time so they were relatively well synchronized and I switched back and forth between them and um, what was really weird was that the, the tonality, um, I really couldn't identify anything in particular in the tonality that was different, but um, there were certainly other differences in the reproduction, but I would say that they were remarkably close. And the, the Marshall headphone is, is really not a very good headphone at all. But, um, <laughs> but it, it did a remarkable job in, in uh, doing it. So what platforms can people purchase your um, curves on? So, uh, or it's, compensation? It's, it's currently, uh, it works on Mac and PC. So the way it works, you go on, a, on our webpage, sonarworks.com, and then you download the software, install it on your PC and Mac. And then uh, we just select a headphone from a database, the one you use, and uh, voila. And, and you can have all the sound coming out of your computer being adjusted for your headphone. So the, so the, the adjustment occurs right at the, the root of the sound system, and it, yeah. regardless of what yeah. YouTube or a, yeah. a digital audio workstation or yeah. J-River, yeah. does it yeah. also work with J-River? Because so, that one so, is fairly yeah. invasive. So we, have, we actually have professional uh, plugins available. So if you use a music player that supports plugins, you can just use the plugin uh, the, uh, plugin um, version of our software. But then when you install the TrueFi product on PC and Mac, it will just uh, adjust all the sound coming out of computer, irrespective of what you use as a source. And how many headphones have you got compensation curves for? So we at the moment have 117. Uh, we are going to, our aim is to uh, get to 200 uh, headphone models uh, this quarter. Mm. And so what is the cost for the various uh, options of... Uh, it costs currently um, 79 USD. And uh, when we will get our apps out, actually, if you house the uh, uh, tool file for your PC or Mac, app will be complimentary to be for, for free, so you can have a full package uh, PC or mobile. Uh, for the $79? Yep. Yeah, cool. And then does it cost extra for every headphone thereafter or that you get? No, actually, we have some of our customers have like tens and even hundred models and they are like happy that they can play around, take this pair or that pair. So it depends uh, pretty much whatever amount of headphones you have. If you have them measured and covered, you are all good. All right. Well, uh, um, 
needless to say, I'm actually pretty impressed with what I heard this morning. If you could make a Marshall headphone sound relatively close to a Sennheiser HD650, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I, 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 I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm going to have to to play with this for sure, I, and I look forward to doing that. So uh, thanks very much for the demo, guys. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks for having us. us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll see you guys at the next booth.